I hope you've seen my part one video on caring for the cloth of a snooker table. Uh, moving on from that, let's show you a, and talk about how to clean the table correctly. The first thing is I like to mention is try to move the balls away. Take them out of the, out of the rail and put them into the, the tray or into the box or whatever. So you're not putting dust onto the balls. Seems a pointless thing to do. Start at the bork end of the table. And on this, it's never quite sure which way the nap's going to run on the bork and at the black end. Okay, on the side, it all, on the rails, it always runs with the direction of the nap going that way. But here, it's not always the case. So just have a feel. Some way it'll feel coarse, another way smooth. So brush in the direction of the nap. That's the first thing. And then get underneath the cushion rail. Just make sure all the dust goes away. Then start with the side cushion. And here we go again. Just making sure that we're going with the nap all the time. And then this one. There we go. So now we can start on the main bed of the table. A couple of points here. The first one that infuriates me actually, a lot of youngsters get the privilege of free table time uh, on the condition that they brush and clean the tables. Well, when it's happening in a club, there's a lot of dust flying around. They're never really shown how to do these things properly and they tend to flick the brush and the dust just goes up and then it's going to settle back down onto the cloth. Rather silly thing to do. But equally, these youngsters, there's still going to be a lot of dust around. And owners and parents, indeed, should insist they wear a mask. They should not be breathing this dust in. It's bad for them. So please, when you're doing a lot of tables or in dusty environment, make sure you wear a mask. Keep the brush in contact with the bed all the time. So here we go again all the time. Fair amount of pressure, going with the nap of the cloth, and the, t the brush never leaves the table. That way you keep the dust down on the table as you brush it along. And not flicking the brush up into the air. And we do both sides of the table the same. Doesn't take very long, but it's worth doing properly. And then the second operation is to nap the cloth. So here what I've done is got a piece of snooker cloth stapled to the back end of the brush. Be careful when you put these staples in, we don't want any showing on the surface here. So it's all done on the, on the edges of the brush, so there's no sharp edges to cut the cloth as you nap it. We turn it over, or just a fair amount of pressure, and just nap the cloth. Let's make sure that the nap is untangled and laying correctly, all in the same direction. Good policy to have. And there we go. The last thing is to iron the table. Now these things generally have a thermostat on, so the heat is controlled, it can't get too hot. Some of the older, older versions don't have a thermostat, so just be careful, you can burn the cloth. If there's any doubt, place it on a piece of paper. If it burns the paper, it will certainly burn the cloth. Be careful. When you Moving the iron along, don't keep it square because you'll create tram lines. A good idea just to put it at a slight angle like that so that the two edges are not all in unison there. So we go there, turn it at a slight angle, no need for a lot of pressure. And there we go. As you come into the, the middle pocket here, 
Be careful here, the point of the iron. I have seen it tear the cloth in this, this area here. So just be a little bit careful as you're going along. Okay? Notice that I'm at a slight angle with the iron all the time. That way we don't create any undo tram lines on the cloth. Finally what I do, I've got a little sponge and from there I'll just polish the wood up a little bit. There's a little bit of moisture on there, not to get it on the cloth, just a damp sponge, just to keep the woodwork nice and clean. And one of the things that tends to, and what tends to score these woods, believe it or not, is these things, belt bottles. If you play in a shop, they tend to scratch the woodwork. Be a little bit careful with it. Nice clean table to play on, and actually when it's done properly, it's an absolute pleasure to play on. And it's always a good idea to invest in a suitable cover to protect what in effect is a very valuable piece of equipment.